All right, so today on our Tuesday video, we are going to make that little tiny bird's nest. Stay tuned and see how fun and easy this project is. All right, so you saw the nest that we're making in the intro. So I've got, to start out with, I've got one of these flat-backed uh, marbles, I guess they're called. I You buy them by the bag in the floral department. I got these at Dollar Tree. Um, and it's about the right size to make a nest on. And then I've got jute twine. This is a fairly large jute twine. I don't know what the sizing was on it. And I'm just going to cut off a piece. Not sure how much I'm going to need. Um, I'm also going to get out a wet wipe before I get my fingers completely covered in glue. So what this is going to be used as kind of a form or a mold that we're going to let this dry on to get to get a shape. So we're going to put out some tacky glue, and you'll want a nice thick tacky glue, and this is going to get very messy. And I'm going to cover that. I'm going to cover that piece of jute twine because I want this to stick to itself. All right, now I'm going to take it in my fingers. And I'm just going to make a coil. Just roll it on itself. It's not going to look like much yet. Just trust me, this is going to turn out pretty dang cool if I do say so myself. And it just occurred to me I probably should have measured that piece of twine before I started rolling it up. Now. Yeah. I'm just going to kind of form this down onto that, that the rounded side of that flat-backed bead, flat-backed marble, and I'm going to let this dry. It doesn't need to be neat at this point. It doesn't need to be a solid. It just needs to be our basic shape that we're going to build on. So I'm going to let this glue dry, which shouldn't take too awfully long, and then I'll be back. All right, before I go any further, if my camera drifts around, I'm having massive problems with my tripod today. Just put that out there. If it moves, I didn't do it on purpose. Um, so what I've got, this is almost dry. And we're going to add some stuff to the outside of it now while it's still on that form so we don't lose our shape. And what we're going to use, I have more of this twine, this jute twine, and then I have five different colors of embroidery floss. And what I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you just a little bit, and then I'll turn the camera off and do most of this off camera. I'm going to cut little pieces, anywhere from, oh, like a quarter inch to a half inch. I wouldn't go much longer than that. You can go shorter if you've got more patience than I do today. Because of that tripod issue I mentioned, this is actually my second time recording this. I already have a bird's nest on my dollhouse, but my tripod wouldn't let my camera sit still. So I'm just going to take off a couple of pieces like that. It's not going to take a lot, um, and we're going to work in layers. So I'm going to cut pieces like that off of all of these, and then what I'm going to do, I'll show you before I turn the camera off, then I'm going to take my nails and I'm going to kind of just pull everything apart so that I have basically a pile of fibers is what I'm looking for here. I want a pile of fibers. So I am going to turn the camera off. I'm going to do that. And then when that's done, I'll come back and we'll add these on. All right, there's a little pile of fibers. I have a wet wipe and I'm going to put some glue out. Oops. 
And then I'm just going to wipe some glue on the side, kind of just pick some of these up. There doesn't have to be any rhyme or reason to this process. And you're going to be full of sticky stuff and it's going to be messy and it's going to look like crap for a while. But I think it's going to turn out really cool. Okay, maybe sticking my fingers in the glue and then and that was not the best idea I've had today. Let's get some of the glue off. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to add fiber on here so this doesn't look like a coiled piece of string. I mean, we know that's what it is, but people looking at the dollhouse. Or, or you could put this, if you have a tree or a shrubbery in your, on your, <clears throat> around your dollhouse, this would be cute out in the landscaping too. Someday I want to make a tree. I've got a really cool idea for making a, a seasonal tree, and that's a huge project I would like to do someday. But... That's going to be not for a while. All right. And by having all these different colors, it just looks like the birds have went out and picked up like maybe some greenery or who knows what they've picked up. All right, we're gonna let that mess dry. I will have a picture of it, a close up of it on the blog post. Um, and I'll also have a picture of the labeling for the embroidery floss I used. So if you wanna get similar colors, you'll know what to get. But I'll be back when this is dry. All right, I would prefer to wait until this was a little drier, but I'm kind of running out of time since this is take two on this. So I'm just gonna pull it off of the uh, piece of glass, a little marble. And now on the bright side, my glue is still here. Now, if you have some little tiny eggs, you could put those in, or you could just put a bird on here. This, this nest is a little big, but that's okay. Bird nests come in all different sizes in real life, so. You can keep adding if you've got some little tiny leaves that are, you know, kind of like dried leaves. That would be cool. You can add any number of things to this nest. This is just the basic thing for you to work from. Um, and you can kind of shape it a little more. I'm going to shape it down to make it fit where I want to put it. But let's go put this on the dollhouse and then you can see how it looks in place. So I've just kind of put the, the bird's nest up behind the chimney on my dollhouse. I'm not sure where I'll put it permanently, but that's just a spot I could stick it right now for you to see it on the house. So I hope you found today's project fun. Uh, if you did, be sure and push the like button and leave me a comment. Uh, let me know what simple little quick projects you'd like to see in future videos too. If you haven't subscribed and you enjoy my content, I encourage you to push that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I put up a new video. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.